somebody is here at my door. Alright. <laughs> How cool. I have a visitor today. Guys, you might not know who this is, but I'm going to introduce you to Wade Myers, who's from Gotta Dental. <laughs> and the reason that I'm going to share this with you guys is because Wade Myers has a different business model than what a lot of biomeds have. And that's so important that I share with you guys all the aspects of biomed. And Wade has two of the things that I talk about all the time. One of them is drive and his hustle. And in fact, the drive is <laughs> ironic because he literally drives all around the United States in a van and he buys, sells, and, and installs. Yeah, I, um, and a lot of times what I do is whenever I'm going out and I'll go pick up equipment. Let's go take a look at the van. Heck yeah. So this is this the van that you drive all around the United States? Yes. Okay. And half the time I'll pick up equipment and while I'm out, I'll pick up equipment in a location and yep. I'll take and drop it off in another location and won't even take it back to the shop. Really? Yeah, so it's, it's pretty So you neat. make like loops around the United States, right? Yeah. So uh, last week I went to Denver okay. and uh, I stopped off in uh, Missouri and went to uh, uh, Kansas City, then down to Oklahoma City, then come wow. back home. You guys get a lot of miles on this because I've, I've yeah. been following you for a while. And uh, like you were just in San Antonio. Uh, yeah. Were you also in Austin area? I was in Austin. Okay. And, and then uh, you were just north of here. Yeah. I was in uh, Houston yesterday working on Santa Claus. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's so random. So how is it that you get your service calls? Because I mean, uh, how, how do people contact you and let you know that there's I, like I stuff get a, to sell? I get a lot of business off of eBay. Really? And my website also as well. Okay. Plus LinkedIn. I don't get a lot of uh, LinkedIn for me is more of a independent. Um, I get a lot of the independent guys call me up and they have doctors that need something. Doctors don't shop on LinkedIn for for equipment. Yeah, uh, I can understand. But that. you know, I, I do a lot of people that do shop for their customers on LinkedIn. Right. So and I, and I got several companies that I've I've got several people that I've met off of LinkedIn. That have actually been good, good business partners for a lot of things. Wow! So, so and uh, out of out of a year, like how many days would you say that you spend on the road? I just started hitting the road real heavy, and uh, what I did is I've I've got one worker that's been with me about eighteen months. Okay. And so I just hired a second worker, and I used to stay gone for about four or five days, and sometimes I would fly uh, and have it shipped back, but I started going. With this new worker, he actually added added help because all I needed was my new worker to. I need my worker to have an assistant. Right. You know, because I don't because he'll work and he'll work till eight o'clock at night if he has to, but I, I don't want him to have to. Right. So I hired another guy that would actually so they can they can take care of everything. When I'm there, we can actually triple team stuff. Wow. But <clears throat> I here lately have only been about every. I might be in for two days, like I'm going in now. I'll go in and, and Thursday, and uh, I'll stay in Thursday, and, or i get home Thursday night. Friday, we'll unload. We'll load it back up. i got to change the oil, change the brakes. And Christmas Day at about probably 2 o'clock, going to roll out again. Wow. So, Holy cow. <clears throat> I got to go to St. Louis, in, and I got to go to uh, Gary, Indiana. Okay. I got a doctor that's that's driving across from Maryland to Spokane, Washington. So, and he wants a couple of sterilizers, and I told him, I said, well, you know, he said it'd be nice if you could, you know, if we could, uh, if I could pick them up. I said, you just tell me where you're going to be, and I said, I'll make arrangements to meet you on your trip. Okay. So he goes, uh, well, I'll be in Wisconsin on the 26th. And I looked and I said, it's a 10-hour drive. And that's so, cold. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, you know, how about I meet you? Because I don't want to meet in Chicago because I, I like to try to stay away from Chicago yeah, as much as possible. I relate to that. I mean, traffic yeah. alone, it's crazy. Traffic, uh, crime, uh, you know, if you go south, you're okay. But, some, you know, I went through downtown just to see it. And it's pretty neat to see the boats, but yeah, I don't. I've, I got stuck on Chicago. I thought I was being smart one time. And I, I took streets to get past freeway because the freeways out there become a deadlock. Yeah. And you're literally like parked in your car. People are getting out of their cars and stuff like because there's nowhere to go. Yeah. So uh, I thought I was going to be smart and go through the streets, which that was questionable. 
but it took me two hours, two hours, just stoplights, stop signs and everything, yeah. just get around Chicago. But man, so, I'll tell you I, what, I, do you I have stuff off. in your van right now? I, I got a whole bunch of stuff. All right, here, tell you what, guys, I'm going to unhook this guy. I have so loaded up. So that we up. can take a look, because <laughs> this is such a cool business model, guys. I have got, uh, I've got, a guy give me the Harvey Clave, which I told okay. him, hey, it's going to go on the shelf. That's kind of like an antique. But I got a M7 here, and I got a Tutenauer 1730. Okay. Got that. Got another M7 here. I've got M9s in the back. I just done this with the wood just to test it. Right. So try, try Is to it get, working out? Ah, uh, the back ones work good. The front ones don't because okay. the van's a little wider. Right. You probably got to. Yeah. So them down I'm, I'm going to. I think the back ones are going to be good. Let's take a look in the back. Guys. This is such a cool thing. I've been following Wade for a long time, and what's really cool is he always posts where he's going to and whatnot. So this time I asked him if he's going to be around Houston. He said, "Yeah, let's meet up." I said, "Hell yeah, let's do this." Oh, I'll look at this. Picked this one up uh, yesterday. Okay. Matter of fact, I picked it up in Houston. I don't know what the sides off for. <laughs> probably why I got so cheap. <laughs> so do, do you, uh, I see a, that's a wet film processor stack. Yeah, right that's a uh, processor, a Pair Pro. This was some racks and- So you uh, still deal with wet film processors? Yes, sold one today. No sold, kidding. Uh, got another one going out tomorrow and- I, you know, I've talked about this kind of stuff with other biomeds and a lot of people don't think that they exist anymore. And I mean, they can be kind of a disgusting sold, uh, whatnot. I sold but... three processors this week. Really? So what type so, of accounts uh, are taking on like what film processors? Small, small private uh, practices? A lot of them are, uh, you know, doctors, they don't, they don't want to, uh, they don't want to go digital. Okay. Um, well, I mean, there is obviously a reason for that. I mean, if, if you got a small practice, there's no reason to do the I've, expense. I've seen doctors that still use paper charts. Okay. And, yeah. I can. And uh, I always tell them, you know, in order for somebody to go digital, it's about 70 grand. You know, by the time you get done, if you don't have anything in set, because you got to get your computers, you right. got to get uh, got to get archiving. You got to start doing patient management software, so it can lead to some money. And uh, kind of so had cool. had a discussion with that. So, and I got a I got a M9 oh, there. Nice. I've got a I got another M9 here. I got one wrapped up inside. That's uh, it's actually down here. So it's uh, matter of fact, I think it's that one. It's another M9. Okay. So I got an M9 that's wrapped up up there that's ready to go to a customer. Wow. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now one of the things you guys uh, should probably know is not only does he sell stuff, but he buys stuff. So if you guys have like old processors or old sterilizers, sterilizers sitting around, uh, uh, he will buy them. Scan -Xs. And, You know, it, it's just the same. If you find them like on eBay or something that's really cheap in your area or even Facebook Marketplace, I've seen them really cheap. Go ahead and buy it or talk with Wade first. You know, buy it, and then he'll buy it from you. You know, yeah, make a make a make a couple dollars. You know, that's never, right. Never know whenever. Uh, that's right. You got to find your hustle, man. Twenty and bucks I'll, to I'll tell you three, four hundred dollars. I definitely admire the fact that <clears throat> you drive all around the country, so you see so many amazing places. And this yeah. is kind of things that people don't understand: is that some people think that if you want to drive around the country, you got to be like a trucker or something. Yeah. But I mean, you can own your own biomed business. I mean, there's no licensure to go between states. Other no. than obviously maybe a business license or something, but yeah, and and I got a like a pier. That's actually a cool work van too. I like that. And I picked up. That guy. Uh, that's a. I haven't seen one of those in years. Yeah, that's a that's a jewel. Picked that I, up as I well. I see uh, ones like that at like uh, tattoo shops. Yeah. Oh, what is that? That's a cable electric hand piece. <laughs> I don't just deal in old antique stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Doors. Okay, so parts. Yeah, same thing I got. Just the same, if you guys got extra parts for these things laying around, let them know, man. So, I got piles in there. I got like 20, 21 in them in there. That is awesome. So guys, if anything, if you wanna stay in touch with Wade, go ahead and look him up on LinkedIn. And if anything, I'm going to put a link to his business at the bottom of this video so you can check him out and follow him because to read about the stories of some of these biomeds, all the different places they travel to, they visit. I mean, he's obviously 
got all the tech. He gets to travel and see cool places, meet cool people. And I'll tell you what, man. That's kind of the thing that some biomeds dream about. Here he is. He got a dental. Driving around in his van. I think you're the only, what, the second person I know of ever that, that has this kind of business model where you travel in large loops around large area. Yeah. So, um, my brother owns awesome. a, uh, he's been doing dental for about 33 years and he's got his own company. He's been, been doing his for about 13 years. And, uh, I worked for him for about, about three or four years and I went on my own. Okay. So I've had this business for four years now. Well, and, uh, is it going pretty good? I mean, because uh, a couple years ago, everybody kind of took a hit, you know? Uh, I took a hit, too. And uh, actually, this year, I moved into a... Last December, I moved into a 5,000-square-foot building. Okay. And uh, so my revenue has doubled since I moved in. Wow. So, All right. And it's grown. I had to hire another now guy. you got extra people. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking to... I'm wanting to expand later to add another van. Okay. And take my guy that I got, bring him out and put him in another van so we're actually going in different directions that would make sense yeah so because he can pick up stuff how cool is that guys so, so you you don't have to start your own business if you want to even just work where you travel and see new places visit new people yeah and a, and a good thing is like a lot of this stuff is because you most of this stuff is given to you yeah okay? most of it's given to you just getting it out of there and uh if you can make a few hundred bucks off each item next thing you know you got you got five or ten items well, you made two thousand dollars. Some of it could be more worth more than that. Yeah. And they, they give it to you most of the time because they want it gone. Right. And it's they're they're walking through kicking it every day because <laughs> their office is not very big. As you see these offices. Yes. They're so small. You look in the equipment room. You're like you can't fit anything else in there, and then they want to pile other things in there. And it's like this has got to go. We got to work in here. So a lot of this stuff is just is, and most of the time they tell you to throw it out. Well, why throw it out when you can actually sell it? Well, I completely so. agree. And that's, you know, I've always been a huge supporter of uh, the secondary market because things like obsolescence, well, obsolescence is what you make of it. Oops, a lot of, sorry, a lot of companies, uh, they, they, they claim they want to recycle and recycle, okay? But a lot of times their recycling program involves hitting a trash can. Yes. And that's, to me, that's not recycling. Okay, uh, but they they want to claim recycling. It's like okay, we'll recycle it back to to. Because here's the thing, if you recycle it and you will actually, because a lot of doctors will retire if they're forced to spend a lot of money, and you can't blame them. They've been doing it for 40 years. Right. Well, why do you want to put a, put a guy that's been doing this for 40 years out of business? Okay. Now, all you're doing is killing him because if he and hurting communities, hurting communities. Because a lot of these communities, they might only have one doctor, one dentist in the area, yes. you know. And these guys that do have the old antique equipment, they usually don't charge a lot of money for, to help people. And a lot of times, they do a lot of charity stuff. Mm -hmm. So I got doctors that ride around in cars missing hubcaps. So and uh, but you know what? They they do a lot of stuff for veterans and stuff like that. So and I got a doctor in. Uh, uh, Mill Pitus, uh, California. Great, great person. And uh, every time I go through California, I go and see her. So I went through California, and, then, and that's where I went. Uh, when you see me, I went, stopped in, and she had an apex locator. Okay. And a girl that left the batteries in it, so I cleaned it out. All right, and so got you got it a little corroded. Yeah, I got it corroded got and, and got it fixed. And, uh, you know, so, and then I shot back to Sacramento, or actually San Francisco that day. So, but I always go through and I try to see a lot of my customers because a lot of them are real personable. Right. And I, I stay in contact with them because they're always asking me questions and advice. Because I always tell them, I say, ask me, you know, at least I said, call me and ask me if it's a good good quote because I, I can help you. You know, you know, I heck, I probably can't. I don't have it, but I can probably get them right. to cut you a better deal. Save can you five or six hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I always look at it like this. Uh, when I was doing uh, supplies, I went into a guy that was doing about $12,000 a, a month uh, with one of the big companies, and uh, he used me for about two weeks. And they come through and cut his prices to, to keep me from, you know, keep from losing his business. Wow. And I, I was fine with that because it saved him money. Okay? Right. It was, you know, it, it's kind of, 
You already know if you if you take a big fish, it's hard to hold on to the big fish. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's definitely one way to look at it. Yeah, it's hard to hold on to the big fish whenever you got a man with with a bigger pole than you got that can hold him. Yeah, so, I could relate. <laughs> and uh, well, so, and way I look at it is, we all got to you know help help each other, and uh, keep on going, man. I I enjoy agree. what I'm doing. Well, this so. this has been amazing. I'm happy that y'all stopped by because I thought you were going to be gone for a while. Yeah. And uh, I know at the beginning of next year, I'm going to be crazy busy. And I know that you, with your expansions and whatnot, I mean, even these smaller offices, a lot of the smaller offices are starting to invest more money, so they'll have more used equipment as well. They are. But um, I'll, I'll tell you, um, guys, check out Wade. I'm going to leave his information in the description below. Check out the LinkedIn because he often puts where he's going on his LinkedIn profile. And also the website, in case you have some stuff you want to sell off to him, Go ahead and check him out and contact him, and he'd be more than happy. Yeah. He makes regular loops around the United States in different regions. And if you look back here, I got a. <laughs> all you guys got to do is uh, give him a ring, and uh, he'll come and check out your stuff. There it is, guys. Got a dental. There you go. Website. Got a dental LLC.com. Now this over here <laughs> is a uh, Dome Life. That's a real good friend of mine. He's got fifty thousand subscribers on YouTube. Really. Okay. Yes, and he's a full-time camper. Wow. His wife was a uh, dental assistant, and uh, he was an accountant, and they ended up selling their house, and now they're full-time camp. So they've been doing what they love to do. That's amazing. So, yeah. So it was well, always why I tell people, if you do something you like, you'll never work a day in your life. I completely agree. I completely so. agree. Well, if... If it was up to me, I'd make more videos and I would do less paperwork. <laughs> but I don't know how I can get away with that yet. So but anyway, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. I'm going to leave his information in the description and uh, check him out. If you have used equipment, don't throw it out. Please yes. uh, reach out and we'll try and give this equipment a second life, even if it is just for parts. Okay. Yeah, because right. I, I, I take all kinds of stuff. Thanks a lot, Wade. And, uh, Appreciate it, guys.